captured one way of looking at the dying process. It's inevitable, it's pointless, it's sheer loss, and we live in fear of that. But the resurrection empowers us to completely reframe the meaning of death and the dying process. The dying process, which we're all involved in, isn't always pleasant. In fact, it's usually unpleasant. But from the perspective of the resurrection, we can reframe it really as a process of being birthed. Think about it like this. As Christ's death was a stepping stone to him entering into God's life, so also our dying process is a stepping stone to entering into God's eternal life. What the enemy intends for evil, God can use for good. The train is picking up speed toward that wall, and we don't know when it's going to hit it. But we can know, and we must know, that just on the other side of that wall is the train's true destination. And somehow that totally changes the meaning of the wall. Instead of being just a negative thing, it's an arrival sign. <laughs> Finally, you've arrived. Changes the meaning of it. It's part of a birthing process. You know, a baby inside the womb, so, so nice and safe if everything's going right. It's got all of its needs met. This is the only world it knows. It's very, very happy. All it needs is its thumb. That's all I need. And, and it's just going along really good, enjoying itself. And then one day, that poor baby, the, its world literally starts crashing in on it. Boosh, boosh, boosh. And I don't doubt that that baby thinks it's dying. This is the end. This is the apocalypse. End of the world. If babies could carry a sign, they'd have a sign. The end is near. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I realized that this whoosh, whoosh, whoosh on it is pushing it towards this little tiny can, can, uh, can, uh, channel. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, I ain't going through that little thing. This clearly was not designed for me, and the mom's thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know, that thing's going to crush my head, which it does. You know, it's like, okay, so this baby is freaking out because it's thinking it's dying. But see, if only it could know. If only someone could tell it that this is a process not of death, but of being born into the real world. Uh, and so it is for us. The aging, dying process is sometimes like the world craving on it. Whoosh, whoosh, shoulder doesn't work. Esophagus shrinking, toe infected, knees don't work anymore. What the heck is that pain? Uh, Things start shutting down. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And see, if you're, if you're walking in ignorance, there's no good side to this. It's just death, you know? It's just quiet desperation. But see, if you understand, if you believe, if you internalize the meaning of the resurrection, that whoosh, whoosh, whoosh now becomes the process of being born. What the enemy intends for evil, God intends for good. And so we can understand that this whole world is sort of like we are little, little, little babies in a gestation period. And there are contraction pains, as Paul says in Romans 8, and they're not pleasant. But, but you've got to know that what's on the other side, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. That's what's on the other side. You're going to have a transformed body. There'll be a transformed world. There'll be a new heaven and a new earth. There'll be no more cancer, no more death, no more war, no more racism, no more violence, no more of the devil, no more of the principalities and powers, no more sin, no more darkness, no more hatred, no more blindness. And no more infected toes. <laughs> amen, amen. Close your eyes for a moment. I just want to ask the Holy Spirit to seal this message on our hearts and help us to take away what we need to take away from here. First of all, I want to say this. If you're here this morning and your life is not surrendered to Jesus Christ, you need to do that. Now, I didn't ask, do you believe in Jesus? Because you need to do that, of course, but what matters is, is he Lord? And he's Lord if you're surrendered. That means, that means making him the driver of your life. Turning over, to letting him be in the driver's seat of your life. You don't live it your way any longer. You live it his way. And if you're not in that situation, you need to be for this to apply to you. And so right now, in your heart, surrender your life to him. That's not a magical little thing you're going to do. You've got to do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But start right now. Surrender your life to him. And if you do that right now, there's no magical prayer or anything like that. It's just, a, it's just the intention of your heart. Just say, Lord, take my life. I turn it over to you. I will now seek to live life your way. And if you make that decision, I want you at the end of the service to come up here and tell the folks, we have a prayer team up here, tell them the decision you made so they can pray with you and seal this. And it's very important because if you make that decision, the enemy hates it and will try to steal it away from you. And now for all people who are surrendered, you have a birthright to live without angst. It is your birthright. 
So I want you here to let the Holy Spirit bring to your attention one area where you're not cashing in your birthright, where there's fear in your life, where there's dread. Maybe you have a lot of areas, but right now focus on one. And try to represent that in your mind, whether it's youth or... So somehow represent, what does that look like? And hold it in, in, in your imagination in both hands with, with all the fear that that represents and give it to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I give this to you. And as you do that, just pray this kind of a prayer. Lord, help me live without fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. I know that I'll live forever, so I don't need to fear losing this. I let it go. I let it go. And Lord, replace my fear with your life and your peace that passes understanding and your joy that is beyond words. Empower me to let go of everything I need to let go of. Empower me to not cling. Empower me to die to my earthly self so it's no longer I that lives but Christ who lives within me. Empower me to be free of all anxiety, dread, despair, fear. Holy Spirit, we just seal this in our hearts. Seal this freedom, total, unconditional, uncompromisable, unquenchable freedom. Freedom from fear. And we end by saying thank you, Lord Jesus, for defeating the enemy, rising from the dead, and freeing us, we who all of our life lived in fear of death and the dying process. You have set us free, and we give you praise. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. He's risen.